অনারেবল ইয়ান লিডাল গ্রেইনার চেয়ারপারসন কমনওয়েলথ পার্লামেন্টারি এসোসিয়েশন এক্সিকিউটিভ কমিটি শ্রী বিশ্বজিৎ দৈমারি অনারেবল স্পিকার আসাম লেজিসলেটিভ এসেম্বলি অনারেবল মেম্বার্স অফ কমনওয়েলথ পার্লামেন্টারি এসোসিয়েশন এক্সিকিউটিভ কমিটি অনারেবল মিনিস্টার্স অনারেবল মেম্বার্স অফ পার্লামেন্ট অনারেবল মেম্বার্স অফ আসাম লেজিসলেটিভ এসেম্বলি লেডিজ এন্ড জেন্টলমেন ফার্স্ট অফ অল আই এক্সটেন্ড এ ওয়ার্ল্ড ওয়েলকাম ফ্রম মেম্বার কান্ট্রিজ অফ কমনওয়েলথ পার্লামেন্টারি এসোসিয়েশন এন্ড আদার এস্টিম গেস্ট টু দিস ইনাগ্রেল প্রোগ্রাম অফ দ্য মিড ইয়ার এক্সিকিউটিভ কমিটি মিটিং অফ সিপিএ বিং হেল্ড এট গোহাটি টুডে ইন সেভেন ডিকেট ওল্ড ইন্ডিয়ান পার্লামেন্টারি ডেমোক্রেটিক সেট আপ টুডে ইজ ইন্ডিড এ হিস্টোরিক ডে It is for the first time that the media executive committee meeting of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association is being held in India. I feel immensely proud that CPA Assam State Branch has got the historic opportunity to host this landmark event at the at Assam Legislative Assembly which is one of one among the many public institution that has an enduring influence in the lives of the people of the entire northeastern region of india therefore while welcoming honorable speaker of the lok sabha shri om bol bila ji to this event i also wish to extend my profound thankfulness to him for giving us this rare and remarkable opportunity to host this very significant event this is indeed a proud moment for the people of assam and in the legislative annals of our state this day will always be remembered as a red letter day i also feels immensely delighted to say that the representative from 53 member countries covering all nine region of cpa have joined this event either physically or through virtual mode today while representative from member countries including united kingdom ghana malaysia australia zambia sierra leone kenya tanzania barbados singapore and india have come all the way to assam to take part in this event representative from rest of the countries have joined this event virtually assam is indeed proud and delighted to have you all amid us at this momentous occasion i am pleased to inform you that our state being the largest among eight northeastern states of india is blessed with large variety of natural resources and very rich biodiversity assam is home to the famous one horn rhino at kajiranga and other national parks which have variety of wildlife our state is nurtured by one of the greatest rivers of the world brahmaputra assam tea is fam- famous throughout the world and there are around 850 tree gardens in our state the petroleum industry in india started at digbo in assam and we have today four refineries and significant petroleum as well as natural <coughs> gas reserves moreover in the democratic setup of our country assam legislative assembly where the cpa meet is being held is one of the oldest in india second only to the uttar pradesh assembly prior to india's independence the whole of today's northeastern region of india barring the present states of manipur and tripura which were then princely state constituted the assam province with shillong as the capital the assam legislative assembly which was initially a bicameral legislature comprising a legislative council 
and a legislative assembly came into being under the Government of India Act 1935. The elected members of the assembly first met on April 7, 1937. In 1972, the state capital was shifted from Shillong to Dispur, and since then, the proceedings of Assam Legislative Assembly have continued in Guwahati. Incidentally, two days ago, this August House has completed 85 glorious years of its foundation. During the, <laughs> during the last eight decades, Assam Legislative Assembly has witnessed many historic debates with several towering personalities adorning this temple of democracy. Most notable amongst these luminaries was Bharat Ratna Lukapriya Gupinath Bordoloi, who was the first premier of Assam. This August House also a played a pioneering role in shaping the socio-cultural and academic edifice of the state while giving a major push to Assam development narrative. It has passed many historic bills leading to unprecedented changes in people's lives. With such a remarkable heritage and natural resources, Assam is proud to host this historic event. I hope during the two-day deliberation, while dwelling at length on wide range of issue of constitutional, legislative, economic, social, and cultural aspects, you will also take out time to enjoy mesmerizing beauty of our state and its natural resources and rich heritage. I once again welcome you all to this historic event and wish you a pleasant stay in our beautiful land. We are really glad to have you all amidst us. I hope during next two days you will, be, you will profoundly enjoy the beauty of our state and our warm hospitality. With these few words and welcoming you all again, I conclude my speech. Thank you. Jai Hind.